Hello Amazons, it's me and this is going to be a haul video. Makeup, accessories, and jewelry. This is part one. Part two will be all jewelry. Anyway, let's get started. Um, I placed an order with Urban Decay and I received some samples. So I have a sample of the Urban Decay Naked Flushed. Let me open it. I think it's supposed to be like a blush and bronzer. They don't tell you which one this is because they have three. This one looks like strips, so I guess that's what it is. I don't know. But that's that. I also have a sample here of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potions. Original Eden Sin in Anti-Aging. So, we'll see how this works. And I got those samples because I purchased Urban Decay Naked 3. I purchased it from Urban Decay's website. It is $54.00. Which is crazy because last time I bought Naked 2, it was only 50 Now they raised the price to $54. This is what's inside. I have not used it yet, but here it is. Here it is. And these are the eyeshadows here. Strange, Dust, Burnout, Limit, Buzz, Trick, Nooner, Liar, Factory, Mugshot, Dark Side, and Blackheart. These are showing up pretty true to color. And you can see they are rosy toned. I have not played with these at all yet, so we will see. And of course it comes with a double-ended brush. So... We'll see how that goes. Hopefully I like it because I didn't like Urban Decay Naked 2 too much. Um, okay, continuing with makeup. I went to the MAC store. I know, which is rare for me. But um, I decided I wanted to try a couple of their lipsticks. And you guys know Wet n Wild lipsticks are my favorite. So... Here I was at the MAC store, and each lipstick is $16, even though some of them were um, $17. So, like, the price depended on what type of lipstick you were getting, which is ridiculous. And, you know, for $17, that's the price of the entire collection of my Wet n Wild ones, so I better like these. I got this MAC lipstick here in Girl About Town. I got this one in MAC Red. I got this one here in Rebel. And the last one I picked up was Ruby Woo. You guys can see pictures of the swatches on my Facebook page. So head on over to Facebook and you will see what these look like. I have not tried them on. The swatches are what they put on my hand at the store. I have not opened these yet. But believe me, when I open them, you will see them on Instagram. And I will let you know if how they compare to the $1 Wet n Wild and the $4 Wet n Wild. Because I have a feeling that Rebel looks just like one of mine from the Fergie collection. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know if I really think... The MAC lipsticks are worth it for $16, $17 bucks a pop. Anyway, continuing on. Here I have some more Playboy sunglasses. Authentic Playboy Bunny sunglasses. This is the Club Collection. And as you can see, they have the little uh, Playboy Bunny logo there. I think that's so cute in rhinestones. Then on the inside, it's got the girls and like the bunnies I just think these are so cute and they look really good on me and I wanted some pink sunglasses because a pair of mine broke so now I have that 
have these sunglasses here. These are by Hello Kitty. These were all purchased in New York City. It's got the Hello Kitty tag. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's got the little Hello Kitty right there. Then it's got kitties here and stars and rainbows. And I just thought these were so cute because of like the blue reflective lens. Like they're blue, if you guys can see that. Blue aviators. So I really like those. And the last pair of sunglasses are from Dollhouse. They are Dollhouse, which I love Dollhouse brand. And if you guys can see, they're like a rainbow zebra print, which I thought was really, really fun. thought that was super fun. I don't have anything like these. There you can kind of get an idea of the color a little bit better. Gorgeous. And now on to some jewelry. Um, this right here, these are all going to be rings. I just bought these yesterday. <laughs> um, these are from Jewelry Guy. He is back. So happy about that. He gave me this ring yesterday. I did not pay for it. He gave it to me. It's just crystals and it's done all the way around. It's gorgeous. It's like a sexy, smoky crystal color. It's a stretch ring. So I thought that was nice. This one I had to have. I bought from him. It's beautiful. It's like an Egyptian style ring. It's got like the winged bird on both sides. Hugging the gemstone. And the beak serves as the prongs. I think it's gorgeous. Then I got this one from him. It's just clear. Gold tone, stretchy band. Very, very pretty. This one I had to have. It's so pretty. It's faux pearl. And they jingle. I don't know if you guys can see that. But they jingle. Each one's loose. And it's on a stretchy band. It's very, very pretty. Very pretty. Then... There's this beautiful ring here. And if you guys follow me and subscribe, you know all of his items are 3 for $5. Solid metal. Pink and green. And this is actually a stretch band as well. Gorgeous. Then I got this ring from him. It's a snake done with Greek key. Solid. It's heavy. On a stretch band. Beautiful. And the last ring I got from him is this gorgeous couture ring. Look at that. It's like a gold plated nugget with a crystal in the middle. And it's solid. It's one piece. And it's really, really heavy. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. This ring is gorgeous. So gorgeous. It's very couture looking like like I had it custom made or something. Very, very abstract. And I've just never seen anything like this, so I had to have it. Absolutely had to have it. Um, let's see. Continuing on with jewelry. Let me move that out of the way. Let me see maybe if turning out one of these lights will help. Yeah. Um, I have some brooches. So I have this really pretty flower brooch. This did not come from Jewelry Guy. <laughs> this is another Jewelry Guy that is like the one I've been shopping with before my normal Jewelry Guy came back. Yeah, this is the guy that's like right in front of the train station when I get out of work. So it's a brooch. It's really cute. It was only a dollar. His stuff is only a dollar. But before I forget, this one did come from Jewelry Guy. I bought this one yesterday. So, he doesn't carry a lot of brooches, but I just thought this one was gorgeous. So, and it's really heavy. Like, there's a quality difference between this one and this one, for sure. But, love it. And it's a pink pearl in the center, and I just think it's beautiful. But anyway, back to the dollar jewelry guy. I got another one of these. This one is green. I got a blue one. This one's gold tone. The green one is silver tone. 
I just think that's really cool. And again, they're brooches. They're all pins and brooches. I got this one from him. And again, all his stuff is a dollar. Can't beat it. Everything's metal. There's nothing plastic here. I found this gorgeous thing. This is a cross. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's green. The stones are green, and they just sparkle so much in the sunlight. Let me... Yeah, there you go. There you can see that this is like a bright emerald green. So I love this cross. It was only a dollar. It was the only one he had. Then I got this brooch from him. It is red. Yeah. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous brooch. And why not? Since I'm getting them for a dollar, I'm stocking up. And since, you know, my new job, I have to dress up, so I wear a lot of blazers, so I put them on my blazers now. So my brooches are actually being used year-round. This one's really pretty. It's gold tone with AB crystals. Let me see. I don't know. That's even more blinding. Well, there you go. You can see it there. Gorgeous. Can you believe it for a dollar? One dollar. Um... I picked up another spider brooch. I just thought this one was really cute. It's like a pink fruit punch color and it's big. I don't know if you guys can see how big that is, but it's a really big spider. And I love it. Like, look at that. Super pretty. Super, super pretty. Um, hurrying along, I think that was it for brooches, but quickly, earrings. I got these from Jewelry Guy. All of these earrings came from Jewelry Guy. They were three for five dollars. Ashley, I got you a pair of these in a different color. Well, something similar. You'll see when I ship them to you. <laughs> they remind me of the Australian Opal. I got these gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. Look at these. And you guys probably can't see, but that stone is full of glitter. There you go. These stones are full of glitter and they're gorgeous. These are solid, they're heavy. Jewelry guy has the best jewelry ever. He really, really does. These are expensive. I don't know how he gets them for his prices, but I don't ask. And I got these gorgeous things from him. So pretty. And they're so heavy. These are green. They're so heavy. And three for five dollars, like you can't beat that anywhere anywhere got that same pair of earrings in black black and white and trust me this camera is not doing them justice they sparkle like crazy I don't even know if turning on the lamp will help but they sparkle like crazy quickly quickly oh these I had to have them these are so expensive and contour looking look at these I mean, you can't tell me these don't look like agate 18 karat golden diamonds. They really do. I don't know how he gets these. Like, I really don't. But they're so pretty. You guys will see them in photos and stuff. Trust me when I tell you the video is not doing them justice. And I got these pretty things, which also look like blue topaz and gold. They're gorgeous. And last but not least, I got these earrings. And he had the matching necklace. I think I'm going to go back for the matching necklaces. And speaking of necklaces, I have so much more jewelry to show you guys. That'll be a second video. This basket is full of necklaces. So the next video is going to be all necklaces. I have made some fine jewelry purchases. That I haven't shown you guys. Like, I have a set here. This ring I just bought is amethyst. Um... I did just buy a fine jewelry bracelet with like multi gems on it. I have been making fine jewelry purchases, but you guys know I don't typically show these things in haul videos. But I have a pile of uh, fine jewelry that I have purchased. And I have some more on the way. But it's costume jewelry season, guys, so I hope you enjoy these haul videos. And make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned if you want to see the necklaces I just purchased. Keep well, guys. See you soon. Bye.